Uh, hey y'all, so we're gonna be doing some more XCOM Enemy Within. Had to leave in the middle of a, a mission last time because Mum needed help with something. No shame in that. So! This is the meld tutorial. TLDR, um, aliens are dispersing weird crap across population centers. They sent XCOM in to deal with it because... Reasons. That's affirmative. That's affirmative. This appears to be a containment device of some kind. We can only assume it has an internal self destruct mechanism, like the other alien equipment. Although it must have already been disabled somehow. Additional canisters like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. All right, so this. What I'm doing with all my soldiers here is putting them on what's called Overwatch. Yeah, I don't need to move quickly to kill this sectoid. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting them on overwatch. Putting them on overwatch makes them shoot the first enemy that moves within their line of sight. Because I know that sectoid is still out there. And that, baby, is why I put them on Overwatch. And that's why I hate rookies. Sectoid. Two damage. Two damage out of three. Bye. So I'm gonna move this over okay, over here. Get the door open and s that's a flank. Yep. Hey oh. So I'm reasonably sure that that sectoid that, that I, I did two damage to is the only enemy left on the map. Which means I can safely do that. And even though that building is technically unsecured, I do have soldiers watching it. Okay, where is... Bloody damage that those things do to cover, man. Crap. Oh! Oops! Yeah, that's the risk with moving up soldiers. Every time you move a soldier up, there's a chance that some crap like that will happen. Okay, hopefully that doesn't screw me over.
set. <sighs> Rookies, man. Oh, hello. Hey. Jesus Christ. How are we going to explain this to the public anyways? Like, oh yeah, by the way, y your stuff just spontaneously exploded. Yeah. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. He sounds like the guy from the, the video about how the missile knows where it is. One second, gotta check something with my group. Gonna... I've actually got my mates. Um, I've got people in my group making up the soldiers, so I'm going to ask them how they want to handle the LP. And I'm gonna leave the question with y'all too. Um, one video permission, or should each video go until I basically get bored? They figure that out, I'll figure out satellites. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. <sighs> You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror mu Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander.
Based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Now, you never want to build your alien containment here. Because this area is used for adjacency bonuses. This is where you get your satellites going. You want to build it here, so the, that these two are open for whatever the crap you, you can figure out what to do with adjacency bonuses. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Arc Thrower immediately. What are my alternatives here? Control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. So, yes, finally I can save and quit. Alright, so the group seems to have voted for the most part that I should do one mission per episode. So, see you in the next part, I suppose.